Namaste yogis. Welcome back to my channel, Zen Yin Yoga with Michelle. Or if this is your first time practicing with me, thank you so much for joining me on your mat. Um, Happy New Year. This is my first uh, video of the year. Just took a little time off to uh, get some things in order after the holidays and whatnot. And i um, glad to be back on my mat with you. So our practice today, our yin practice, will be all about nourishing the mind, the body, and the spirit, or whatever else that you need here. Uh, just bring it to the mat, and you can just work through it, or whatever it is that you need. Uh, our props today, will be using a block, or some sort of a cushion, if you have that. Um, a block is preferable, just uh, to give that added support. All right, so we will get started in a Shavasana with the block underneath our heads. So lowering at its uh, lowest level. And just reclining yourself on back. And finding the position that feels best for your head and neck here. You want to feel some space um, in the neck. So letting the neck get heavy, creating a little bit of traction and openness through the back of the neck and now with the legs a couple of options here maybe you widen your feet a little further than hip width distance or your mat let the knees fall in towards one another just resting here if that doesn't feel so great on the low back you can just have the knees up or you can bring the legs into and feet into butterfly pose whatever feels most comfortable for you and your body today Hands can either be resting at the side or on the belly. Again, this practice is about nourishing. So finding what feels good for you, what brings you nourishment here with the positioning of the legs, with your arms, with your head. And then once you get settled in the pose, taking a cleansing breath, Breathing in through the nose, send the breath all the way to the low belly, the low back. As you take an open mouth exhale, let the belly soften, the low back release, the glutes release, the legs. And taking another full breath in, cleansing breath into the chest, the heart space. And as you exhale, letting the upper back and shoulders get heavy, sinking down to the earth. Maybe you bring the chin in a little closer towards the chest. Feeling this stretch in the back of the neck. And just gently rocking your head side to side. You may feel a stretch in the side of the neck, the top of the shoulder. Maybe you feel some tension that's been held here in the base of the skull, scalp, and just working through that, nice and easy. Maybe you stay in one particular spot that feels a little tight, breathing through that. And then returning back to a place of being still. And asking yourself, your body, what is it that I need here in my practice?
and inviting in the affirmation. I allow myself to receive exactly what I need. I allow myself to receive exactly what I need. Take three more slow, deep breaths here. Last breath, taking a cleansing inhale and exhale. And then however you had your legs, just bring the feet back to your mat. Walk the feet in towards one another. Still bending at the knees. And then we're just going to take the block out underneath the head. Set it off to the side. Slowly lower your head down. And just take a few breaths here. A little rebound pose. Feeling any new sensations, any releases occurring in the body, the neck, shoulders. And taking a cleansing breath. And now let's bring the knees into the chest. Hands will come to the knees and just taking a few rocks side to side here. Releasing the low back. And coming back to center, lowering the feet back down to your mat. And then we'll come into supported bridge. So grabbing your block once again, have the heels in closer to the glutes. And then pressing into the heels, lifting up the hips, place the block at its lowest level right underneath the hips, the sacrum area. And then just allow the hips to get heavy on the block. And I always like to just inch my shoulders up to release the low back and just give some space there so it's not any crunching going on. That's in my body anyway. Maybe you don't have that going on, but. Again, finding what nourishes your body here. And then we'll just take a few breaths here, focusing on breathing into the belly. As you exhale, letting the belly soften, the low back release, the glutes release. Letting the upper body get heavy, sinking down. And then gently tuck the chin in a little towards the chest to release any holding in the neck. Just slowing everything down. Slowing the racing mind. Slowing down your breath. As we slow everything down, we allow ourselves to hear and listen to what the body needs.
And let's take three more breaths here. Last breath, cleansing, inhale and exhale. And now slowly bringing the knees in towards the body, towards the chest, one knee at a time, and having then both knees in. And really just let the legs get heavy. Let them just fall in towards the belly, towards the chest. You may feel the block slip out just a little bit. That's okay. I don't think it will slide all the way out. If it does, just return yourself back onto the block, come back into the pose. Just letting the legs get heavy here, feeling the stretch and openness through the low back. Breathing into the belly. Feeling the upper body, the shoulders getting heavy, sinking down even more. Let's take one more breath here. And now extending the legs, feet up towards the ceiling or towards the sky. And taking a point and flex through the feet, rotate through the ankles. Those of you that practice with me regularly you know that this is one of my favorite poses. I don't know why, but my body just really loves it. Feeling it through the feet, the ankles, the Achilles, the calves, the hammies. And now just holding the legs here, give a little flex through the feet, send the toes towards you. Notice if you're holding in the belly or holding in the low back, we wanna let that soften. Coming into our yin practice of finding a passive release in the body. And now you can stay here or maybe you let the legs get even heavier coming in towards the body, feet towards the floor without coming into a full plow pose, but just letting the legs get heavy here. You can also support maybe the hips or the legs with the hands. And just feeling this in the low back, maybe in the hamstrings. Taking slow, deep breaths. Let's take three breaths here. Last breath, all the way to the belly, low back. Open up, exhale. And bring the legs back to center, bending the knees, and then slowly lowering your feet back to your mat. We'll make our way off of our block. So once again, pressing into the heels, lifting up the hips, Take that block out. Just hold here for one breath. On the exhale, begin to lower slowly, upper back, mid back, lower back, and then the hips, letting everything soften, sink down, taking a few breaths here. And then from here, keep that left leg where it is. We will bring that right knee into the chest, interlacing the fingers on top of the shin or the knee, and just holding here.
And now extending that left leg all the way out heel to the mat. Maybe hugging in that right knee a little closer to the body. Notice if the legs or the feet are wanting to activate in any sort of way. Giving them permission to soften. Breathing into the low belly. Let's take one more breath here. Big open mouth, exhale. And then sliding that left foot back to your mat, releasing the right foot down. We'll switch to the other side. The left knee comes in to the chest. And just holding here for a few breaths with that right foot still on your mat. Let's take one more breath here. And then extend that right leg all the way out, heel to the mat. Releasing any gripping or holding in the legs, or the feet. Taking three more breaths here. Last breath. Keep the left knee here, bring that right knee in to meet. Taking a few rocks side to side here. And then rolling over to one side in fetal pose. Let's just take one full breath here. Slowly pressing yourself up. Mm. And we'll meet in a Sukhasana, easy seated pose. And just feeling yourself root down through the sit bones, lengthening up nice and tall. Let's flip the palms facing up. Let the arms be relaxed. Taking a cleansing breath. Tuning in, noticing what you're feeling in the body. And 
Noticing any new sensations or energy flowing. And coming back to the question of what do you need here in your practice? Bringing in the affirmation, I allow myself to receive exactly what I need. And feeling any energy through the hands, let's bring the palms of the hands together in prayer at heart center, combining the energy Pressing the thumb into the sacrum, lifting up the heart. I allow myself to receive exactly what I need. Finding yourself already beginning to be nourished. Let's take another cleansing breath. Open mouth, exhale. And slowly opening up the eyes. Let's swoop the hands down, taking a big inhale, bring the palms of the hands up to touch. And then as you exhale, bring that right hand over to the right side of the hip and bending over to the right, feeling this nice stretch to the left side body. Draw the shoulder blades down, reach through that left hand, pressing down through that left hip. Let the head be heavy, taking a full inhale here, left side body. Exhale, using that left arm to bring yourself back to center and then just flowing right on over to the left side. Same thing here, moving down through that right hip, reaching through that right arm and hand. Letting the head be heavy, breathing into the right side body. Take an inhale to reach a little further. As you exhale, begin to come to center, floating on over to the right. We'll take it one more on each side. Full inhale in. Exhale, coming back to center, on over to the left side. Full breath here. Inhale, exhale, coming back to center. Okay. Take an inhale, bring the palms and the hands back together. And this time as you exhale, we'll come into a twist. Left hand to that right knee, right hand back behind you. Rooting down through both sit bones. Lengthening up nice and tall as you gently twist to the right. Draw that right shoulder back. We'll take three breaths here, breathing all the way to the belly. Nourishing the organs here with the breath in this posture of twist. Last breath here. On the exhale, slowly untwist, coming forward. Very good. Let's take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up again. Exhale, twisting to the left. Right hand to the left knee, left hand back behind you. Three breaths here. Last breath. And twisting on the exhale. Nice. And let's bring that left heel into the groin. We're going to extend that right leg out to the side. 
using our block here to the inside of that right knee. And we'll bring that right elbow down. We're going to come into a side bend, making a fist with the hand, letting the uh, head be heavy on the fist. Now, depending on how the side body is feeling today in the low back, maybe you bring the block up higher or you can bring it down at its lowest level. And we are nourishing our own body here. So listening to your body and what feels good for it. And then once you get settled here, let's take an inhale. We're going to bring that left arm all the way up and over, getting into that left side body. If this is a little bit too much in the shoulder, you can just keep the hand here. I do have a little bit of crunchiness here in my left shoulder, so we're not going to hold here very long. Let's just take two breaths. Last breath. And slowly lowering that left arm down, we'll come into a half bind. So just flipping the palm of the hand so that the top of the hand is to the lower back. And then we want to focus on gently opening up that left shoulder. Letting the legs be at ease. Relaxing the facial muscles, the jaw. Let's take five more breaths here. Last breath, cleansing, inhale, and exhale. And then we'll unbind that left arm, bringing that left hand to your thigh, keeping the upper body heavy and the head relaxed. You're going to engage the core and slowly begin to lift the upper body back up, keep the head still in this relaxed state and then you're going to bring that right palm to the right cheek as you bring the upper body up and then lift the head very slowly back up to center and then just bring that right hand to the knee to the thigh and we'll just take a few breaths here feeling into all sensations all release that's happening in the body
One more breath here. And opening the eyes. And let's make our way to the other side. <clears throat> so bringing that right heel in, extending that left leg out to the side. Block to that inner left knee. And bringing that left elbow down, making your fist. And just paying attention to this side of the body. Maybe it needs a little something else on this side. Remember, we typically always have one side of the body that's a little tighter than the other, needs a little extra love, needs a little extra nourishment. And just giving yourself permission to give the body what it needs. Once you get settled, let's reach that right arm all the way up and over. Rooting down through that right hip and sit bone. Just taking two breaths here, right side body. One more breath. And then slowly lowering that right arm down, coming into your half bind on this side. And just notice if the shoulders are kind of hunched up by the ears. Just gently give some space by gliding the shoulder blades down. Let the jaw be relaxed. The muscles around the eyes. A nice, slow, deep breath here. Taking five more breaths on this side. Last breath. And releasing the bind in that right arm. Slowly begin to lift the upper body up, keeping the head heavy, tilted to the left. And then bringing that left palm to the left cheek, slowly bringing the head back to center. And resting that left hand down on the knee or thigh and taking a few breaths here. Last breath. We opening the eyes and we will come back to an easy seated pose. So just bring that left leg in, set your block off to the side and getting yourself grounded and rooted through the sit bones. We'll come into a little pranayama, alternate nostril breathing. 
Let your left hand rest with the palm facing up on your left knee. Using the right hand, we'll bring in that index finger and middle finger. Uh, right thumb comes to that right nostril. We're going to inhale through the left nostril for four. Close off that left nostril with the ring finger. Take a pause. And then opening up that right nostril, exhaling out the right nostril for four. And then inhale through the right nostril for four. Closing off the right nostril with the thumb, taking a pause. Opening up that left nostril, exhaling for four. And just continuing that for a few more rounds, inhaling through the left nostril for four. Closing, pausing, exhaling out the right nostril for four. Inhaling through the right nostril for four. Closing that off, exhaling out the left nostril for four. And then just continuing this on your own. Letting the jaw be relaxed, the facial muscles at ease. Holding the integrity of your posture. And making this your last round. As you complete that last round, bring that right hand to the right knee, palm facing up. Returning to the natural flow of your breath. Tuning in. Noticing any new energy or sensations flowing through the body. Alternate nostril breathing offers balancing of the energies in the body, both the left and right side, as well as the left and right side of the brain. Let's take one more breath here, cleansing, inhale and exhale. And gently opening the eyes. Let's just extend the legs out. Give the legs a little shake. A little movement here. And, and then we're going to make our way into tabletop. Doing a little variation of a cat, our cat and cow flow. So having the hips aligned over the knees and having the toes tucked this time. And shoulders are aligned over the wrist. Fingers are spread nice and wide as you root down through the hands and fingers. Now taking your inhale, coming into your cat, drop the belly, reach the heart forward. And then as you exhale, you're going to press away, rounding through the spine, but then send those hips back towards the heels. So we're also getting a little stretch through the feet. Good. And then inhale, begin to come into your cow, kind of rounding forward, dropping the belly down, pressing up into your cow. Exhale, rounding through the spine, sending those hips back. So creating this little flow, flowy movement here. Inhale, coming forward into your cow. 
Exhale, beginning to press away. Bring that belly towards the back of the spine as you send the hips back towards the heels. Let's take a few more rounds of this. Last round. And then we'll meet back in our tabletop neutral spine, untuck the toes, and then just tap the tops of the feet. And from here, let's come into a wide-legged child's pose. So widening the knees, the width of your mat, big toes to touch, and then send those hips right back to the heels as you walk the arms out in front of you. Letting the heart melt to the earth, forehead to the mat. You can always use a block underneath the head or underneath the chest if that feels good for you here. And taking a nice big cleansing inhale and exhale. As you exhale, letting the heart melt to the earth even more. Releasing the low back, mid back, upper back, and shoulders. Bringing in our affirmation once again. I allow myself to receive exactly what I need. Sometimes we ourselves don't know what we need and often the mind wants to make up stuff. And when we come into a place of just kind of having an open affirmation, of just allowing our energy, our spirit, our soul, our body to guide us into what it needs or just to allow it to receive whatever it needs itself. Let's add a little prayer hand to this pose of so walking the hands in towards one another, palms to touch, and then bringing the hands up overhead, thumbs towards the back of the neck. And then I always like to just inch my elbows a little bit forward towards the top of the mat, getting a little added stretch through the triceps. Letting the heart melt even more towards the earth. And taking three slow deep breaths here. Last breath, cleansing, inhale and exhale. And bringing the hands back to the mat. And then just walk the hands in closer towards the body, aligned underneath the shoulders, slowly pressing 
yourself up. Let's walk the knees and thighs in towards one another and just come to sit on the heels. Let's take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up, palms and the hands to touch. And then exhale, drawing the hands down to the heart. Taking a breath here. Beautiful. Bringing the hands to your thighs, just coming over to one hip, swing the legs out in front of you, and then we'll make our way down onto our backs. Lowering yourself down nice and easy. Mm, bring the knees into the chest. And just taking a few rocks side to side here. You can hold on to the knees. And then let's come into a supine twist. So let's bring the legs into a tabletop. And then you'll bring that left hand over to the right knee. Extend that right arm out to the side with the palm facing up. And then just slowly guide the legs over to the left. My legs got a little heavy. And then take a nice, slow, deep breath into the low belly, low back. Let the shoulders melt down. Maybe you look over to the right. Few more breaths here. Last breath, and see an inhale and exhale. And bring your head back to center. Slowly bring the legs back to center as you engage the core to support the low back. Okay. And we'll make our way to the other side. So bring the legs back into that tabletop. Right hand over to that left knee. And then slowly bring the legs over to the right. Right away, letting the shoulders just sink down. Looking over to the left.
Three more breaths here. And taking a nice nourishing cleansing breath. And bringing your head back to center. Slowly and mindfully bringing the knees back to center. As you come back to center, just take a few rocks side to side. Once again, releasing the low back. Good. And then let's give ourselves a big squeeze, a big nourishing hug, hugging it in, big breath to the belly. As you exhale, focus on releasing the back, feel it just open up and sink down, releasing any tightness in the shoulders. Yeah, let's take one more breath, just like that big breath to the belly. Exhale, letting everything soften as you begin to let everything soften, release the hands, just let the arms float on down, lower the feet to your mat, and making your way into Shavasana. And taking up lots of space. Tuck the shoulder blades down the back. taking a cleansing breath. I allow myself to receive exactly what I need. Allow yourself to be nourished here.
that cool, nourishing breath in. And a full, nourishing, cleansing breath out with a sigh. Beginning to bring some movement into the body, wiggling the fingers, the toes, and rotating through the wrists and the ankles. And then extending the arms up overhead, bring the feet in towards one another. Taking an inhale as you lengthen all the way through the hands, the fingers, the toes. And as you exhale, bringing the arms into the chest, bring your feet to your mat. And then rolling over to one side in fetal pose. I take a few breaths here. So gently and slowly pressing yourself up, leaning back in an easy seated pose. Mm. Let's bring the palms of the hands to the knees with the palms facing up, taking a cleansing breath. Self to receive exactly what I need. Bringing the palms of the hands together, prayer for its center. And gently bowing our heads. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope your entire body, your mind, your spirit, your soul all feel nourished. And may you continue to nourish your well-being and your body throughout the rest of your day. May you have peace in your heart, peace in your mind, peace in your body, and peace in your life. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing me with the yogis. I really hope that you feel nourished. I hope you received whatever it was that you needed. And um, I hope to practice with you again soon. Namaste.